So there's one bold truth that's evident for every single veteran who is in this room tonight, and there's a whole bunch of them. That simple truth is that it all starts with a simple decision, a decision to put service above yourself, a decision to, at the worst, maybe lay down your life to preserve our country's freedom. That decision never, ever taken lightly. That, my friends, is why the moment that you're about to witness is one of the most powerful moments that we're honored to share with you. And I guarantee you've probably not seen it like you're going to see it tonight. Tonight at Sky Ball, we have 60 in all brave young men and women who right in front of you are going to take the oath of enlistment right in front of this stage. And it's going to be conducted by a Medal of Honor recipient, an American hero, Captain Florent Flo Groberg's story of bravery, of selflessness, uh, selflessness, of sacrifice. If you've ever read it, you know it's nothing short of extraordinary. He demonstrated, like so many others have, the highest level of courage. For him, it was while serving in Afghanistan. For his actions, he was bestowed our Medal of Honor. That is our nation's highest honor for valor. Tonight, Captain Groberg is here for the specific purpose that embodies the essence of our nations, our values, our traditions. Captain Groberg, we welcome you to the stage, sir. It is an honor. Good evening. Well, thank you. That was really nice of you. I paid him. No big deal. I'm uh, here with a Marine, Sergeant Gardner, and so we're gonna, I'm gonna ask for our recruits to report or post, maybe not. All right, recruits, at ease. I'm going to speak to you directly. I'm going to go right here. 
I'm going to look at you, forget about everybody behind you. This is about your moment. This is about your foundation. This is about your future. This is about the responsibility that you're committing yourself to tonight. The greatest honor I've ever had in my life was this country giving me the opportunity and the honor to wear its uniform and honor its colors. The greatest responsibility I've ever had in my life was to lead my soldiers into combat. The best days I've ever had were in Afghanistan fighting with my men. The worst days I've ever had in my life were in Afghanistan with my man dying in front of me. This is the greatest job in the world, hands down, without a doubt. Forget your background. doesn't matter. Don't matter if you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, if you're a Republican <clears throat> or a Democrat. I don't care if you're gay or straight. I don't care if you have a GED, high school degree, or a college degree. I really don't care where you were born. Because today I respect you for being here. <clears throat> I respect <clears throat> you for having the courage to stand here in front of me to do something that is greater than yourself. It will be hard. It will suck. You will be bored. You will understand hurry up and wait. You will be frustrated. You will doubt yourself. You will want to quit. But you won't. You won't because there's always going to be someone to your right, to your left, to your front, and to your rear that is going through the same situation that you're going through, and you will pick each other up. We fight as a team. We never forget. I'm honored to be standing in front of you today because I depend on you, our future. I have an 11-month-old 11 11 little baby. I'm a civilian. You will defend my freedom. And so with that, I expect you to be the best. I expect you to trust within yourself, to give it your all, and to earn the right to wear that uniform. Like I used to tell my boys before every single patrol, complacency kills. We can be at 100% and still die. Being perfect does not guarantee you a way home. That's the reality of the position that today you're going to take an oath of enlistment for. So with that, I'm going to move myself down here, sorry, and we're going to do this oath of enlistment. If you don't mind, position of attention. I'm a civilian, so I don't have the proper saying. I sure as heck not a Marine. So I'm probably going to get chastised for this. And by the way, when I say state your name, please state your name. Don't say state your name. So this your, state your name. It happens all the time. All right. Please raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, I state your name. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States 
and the office and uh, and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations and the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. Everybody, I'd like to welcome our newest recruits who enlisted to the military. Congratulations. <laughs>